Welcome on in everybody. And this is a special tarot reading for the full moon in Gemini. And I'm going to open this up by clearing the space. If I can get this thing to light, wow. <laughs> okay, and so while we're clearing the space, let me remind you that I already put out the astrology and if you missed it, I will have it at the end of this reading so that you can click on through to that video. And in that video, I not only talk about how the energies are impacting all of us collectively, relationally, um, the world at large in terms of resources, but there's also some pretty nice views in there uh, for this new location that I'm at. So if you want to have something pretty to look at, <laughs> some nice scenery, then definitely check it out. So I'm not sure why I'm having trouble getting this to light. Kind of sad because I bought this candle locally while I was out in Austin and it's made from beeswax. And it's uh, handcrafted, but yeah, apparently something went wrong. So I might go out during the reading, um, but we just need to have enough fire to get this area cleared. And there might be some kind of message to this, okay? Are you having trouble right now getting fired up about some things has somebody put your fire out right um, this is a lot of emotional energy that we are in the midst of right now and oof. and also air energy when we're talking about Gemini so we're gonna get into emotions that have maybe been smoldered <laughs> that are just kind of simmering under the surface of things. We're gonna talk about that in this reading. We are going to, um, we're going to discuss things that maybe need to be processed a bit more with all this Gemini air energy. And I'm going to close out with a message from Spirit I will pull from the Oracle card deck called Postcards from Spirit, which I don't use a whole lot, okay? Um, but yeah, for some reason, I'm really having trouble getting this to light, and I don't know if there is some kind of symbolic meaning to that. Spirit, thank you for your messages. Thank you for your messages today been having trouble finding lighters lately too, lighters that work. I, again, synchronicities, oddities going on right now. And we are shifting into uh, more um, earth energy as the month progresses. So um, hopefully, you know, if you're, if you're needing a little bit of fire in your life, Hang on, we got a little bit more to go, right? But I think uh, the, as we get more and more into um, the new year, uh, we're gonna feel that electricity come in with all the Aquarius energy. Uh, but between now and then, fire might be a miss right now is, is really what I'm, I'm getting to share with you um, as to the meaning of that. Damn shame, you know, I wanted to get that candle working, but I don't know if it's gonna cooperate. I'm gonna give it one last ditch effort and if not, then we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, we're gonna roll with it. So there's some things I think that um, you're wanting, you're having to roll with right now and um, I am going to try to speak to that and get some answers. I know a lot of us are dealing with a very reflective energy, very, much reconsidering what has gone on over the last year. I talked about that in the astrology portion, but we're actually going to pull cards. We're going to get into uh, what this means more accurately, um, 
given your astrology as well so make sure that you are watching not just your sun sign but especially your rising sign will be relevant when i start talking about the um the astrology for example i'm a taurus rising so i'll watch the taurus and i'll watch for my aquarius sun and my pisces moon right um but of course the most accurate is looking at your chart and where gemini is in the new in this full moon is showing up in your natal chart okay and if you don't know how to do that of course you can come to me for a private reading links are down below and by the way i am running a special on etsy right now you can get a year ahead reading for less than a hundred dollars it is a steal of a deal limited time offer and there are payment plans if you're saying i can't even afford that right now hey you could do it for as little as 24 dollars to get the ball rolling and it's like a one hour reading where i get into your unique astrology and we pull cards just for you for every month of the new year so with that said let's get on to these readings all right taurus welcome on in we are going to do a full moon in gemini reading for taurus and taurus rising and taurus this full moon in gemini is hitting our second house i say r because i'm a taurus rising for those of you who don't know um and by the way glad you're here glad you made it through uh the taurus and scorpio eclipses that we just had oh my gosh right whoo pat yourself on the back we made it through we made it through still alive all right second house has a lot to do with personal income personal resources, possessions, self-worth issues, okay? It might be that you have to face something that is going on with your income, your source of income, streams of income. It might have to do with your earnings, what you've been bringing to the table, okay? Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Um, so something has maybe come to an ending, some completion or culmination. It might be quite emotional of you having to say, hey, you know what, this is not working out. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. How do I make this work? It might not be that you're walking away from a job or a stream of income. It might just simply be that you are reworking it. Let's, let's see what the cards have to say for Taurus. And Taurus rising about this situation. Okay, so at the foundation, ugh, yeah, I'm here and put a fork in it, okay? I am gonna say this, again, relating very much to this energy. We have to remind ourselves, there has been a lot of adversity economically over the last two years. This is a very, this is about betrayal. This is about one hit after another. It's been one thing after another to where you come to finality of it's, it's over with. The only thing you can do here is turn this in. Ha ha, I love that. Oh, oh God, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. That's much better. <laughs> okay, but you, you turn this in the reverse where you regenerate, you breathe new life, you get a ace of swords, a new idea, a new beginning, some new inspiration. You come into agreement with people. Maybe you sign a contract. Maybe you have a new home, a new opportunity, a new solid foundation laid but there's got to be give and take. There's got to be reciprocation. There's got to be shared effort and shared sacrifices in order for blessing to come in. Man, I'm going deep for y'all, okay? So there's some type of perspective shift that has to be seen here um, in terms of, some of you may be marriage, okay? I'm getting a lot of tens, tens, okay? With your career, with marriage, 
and an emperor. Some of you need a partner. You need to heal. Oh my God, I'm just going deep into this, okay? If this is not about marriage partnership, it's business partnership. Who are you? There's something with all these. Do you realize how many tens just came out here? Tens and ones. Incredible. Full moons are about endings culminations and I definitely saw it with the tens but then that 10 breaks down to a one a new beginning which by the way we're going to have on the 23rd of uh, December make sure you're tuned in for that because I will probably go live at that time and do tarot again and astrology and that's going to be a fantastic time for setting intentions for a new beginning um, that's very money related, right? In Capricorn, with that new moon in Capricorn, uh, so much. Just watch my video that I put out on the astrology for this full moon, and I talk a little bit about that new moon that's coming up on the 23rd. So if right now something's ending or culminating, or you're just like, I can't seem to bring this together, I don't know how to get this to go at this time, hold your horses, um, You because in the midst here, you've got some ones next to the tens okay it's coming all right um there's got to be a way to regenerate this i'm gonna put this the way it showed up because let's just keep it correct right queen of swords here i'm an aquarius sun we got to keep it correct all right we've got to be with the truth right but looks like what you have been believing is you know with the empress that something was going to grow something was going to give expansion that if you just nurtured and took care of it that it was going to you know, why not? If I, if I water this plant and put it out in the sun, why would it not grow, right? That was your belief. I don't blame you. Um, but the, the facts are that you, you're going to have to put your back to what's not maybe been growing or thriving, okay? Or put your back to nurturing, nourishing the wrong things, okay? Both of these are feminine energies. But this is one that is a lot more uh, calculating, a lot more cutting out the BS of I'm not getting a return on my investment, so out you go. Sorry, that hurts, you know, that this didn't work out. I really wanted this thing to grow and thrive. But since you're not, you got to go, okay, because you're not feeding me, right? You're not, you're not putting food on the table, therefore I'm going to have to stop feeding that which is not feeding me, okay? Um, it's, it's harsh, right? Where's the confusion been for you? Well, with the King of Swords, again, your energy, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you perhaps thought that you were doing what made sense, okay? You felt like you were doing what was logical. You felt like, um, you were being very intentional with your leadership, your leadership role in this, and you were making very head over heart decisions. I do see spirit here on both of these, right? Very spirit led, but honestly, I'm getting a vibe like I think that you were spirit led and I think that you were doing what was um, logically, ethically correct, but you're having to put your back to something that no matter how correct it was, it just, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify that in a moment. Yeah. An ending, another ending here. Okay. What you have to get clear on is there has been some ending, some something, this is probably a karmic lesson, okay, about what you're nurturing and nourishing. All right, I'm going to clarify that in a moment. But your thoughts about this, um, you have Six of Cups, uh, very nostalgic, okay. Some of you might have been doing doing something for your children or doing something for uh, your childhood. Some of you, this was, if, if you're older and this is a second career, 
that you were trying to do the career that you felt spirit had been leading you to do or what was in your heart to do and you felt like you were going at this like in the proper way okay um but i think some of you are nostalgic about better days gone by feelings This is very earthy. This is like very committed. Like I think that you're, you're, I just heard in it to win it. Okay. I think you're very committed to that. Some of you, again, very spiritual, very ethical approach to what you are doing. Like, I don't see, I, again, with second house, I don't really see anybody, um, doing anything unethical it's almost like somebody did everything by the book but now they're having to put their back to it and close something out and end it okay um for some of you this might have to do with um healing feminine energy okay it's an odd odd message it might have to do with who you've been joining yourself with. I'm getting a lot of creative energy also off of these two cards that your belief was maybe in creating certain things, okay? Creating cash flow, creating products, creating services, creating revenue, creating income streams, okay? Creating for your children creating an atmosphere of people coming together and sharing all right and i saw some kind of fallout all right there's that didn't go and there's the queen of swords again over there all right i'm gonna <laughs> whoa there's a lot of stuff under what i'm getting with these decks when i'm shuffling is uh, there's a lot of under the under the cover stuff going on okay Tell me about this Queen of Swords and what's getting cut out. So much, so much. Um, looks like a new beginning. Somebody made a decision about home, housing, sense of belonging. And yeah, might have involved children going back to a, or going back to a place where you used to live. And it looks like somebody tried to breathe new life into it. Um, but it looks like there's been a stalemate and somebody made a decision of nope. Um, somebody made a decision to take a leap of faith, okay, to get a new home. And to try to revive something about the past. But somebody then decided this is a stalemate i can't do anything i gotta i gotta cut this out i'm getting a lack of growth here really is what i i, I feel like somebody tried to do something to stabilize a situation and to um bring about this rebirth in their life involving children or the past revive something from the past and it's just sorry if i'm repeating myself it's just it's stuck it's stuck because i'm getting a vibe with that two of swords like um well there is some blocked emotions here i'm going to say that uh this might have been a difficult decision i do see the air signs here aquarius libra gemini are, are seen very clearly to cut something out because there is, um, there's been some difficult decisions and there's a stalemate regarding other people. I think they tried to do something and they couldn't get the cooperation of other people. And so they had to cut, cut other people or that situation and or that other people, people out. Okay. That's, those are the facts. I see, I see the air sign, whoever this represents, 
cutting cutting people or situations out because of lack of can't can't get somebody to open up and people might be really emotionally blocked over it right now of you know I can't get this to move and I do see again it might be a mother figure that tried to bring some kind of reconciliation but I see a fallout here and yet again this Queen of Swords whoever she represents, air sign or not, Aquarius or uh, Libra, Gemini or not, she's putting her back to it like, okay, this is not sustainable, okay, we're at a stalemate, okay, I, I tried to nurture this, I tried to get this to grow, and apparently it's not, so they put their back to it, they cut it out. This person might be coming, the air sign might be coming off very cold and like detached like I'm not gonna put in on this anymore because why it looks like somebody they did put a lot into this they tried to heal a situation stabilize a situation get growth and nurture and nourish a situation other people or weren't on board or circumstances did not align. Um, I actually don't think you're you're unclear about it. To be frank with you, I mean, I'm going to clarify this, but is there, what is this? Maybe you're unclear about, you might be unclear about an air sign. The air sign is showing up very clear, okay? So if you've got air in your chart, as I do, um, you ain't confused. You know what happened, okay? You know what went down. It's karma. Might, might involve a Libra or a legal situation. It's clear as day. Absolutely, star card, holy crap. Aquarius, yet again. So Aquarius is showing up very prominent here. Air sign, very prominent. Could be a soulmate. Um, somebody definitely had ambitions, ideals, they wanted wish fulfillment, they were going after blessing, but there's been some kind of karmic lesson here. Um, maybe there was some legal entanglement, but honestly, no, I'm not getting any negativity about a legal situation. This looks really super positive, okay? Looks like any kind of legal entanglement would actually bring some wish fulfillment and blessing to them. But it's showing up as some area of confusion for you that there is possibly a karmic lesson here about an Aquarian, an air sign, and there needs to be healing. There needs to be truth here. There needs to be fairness and accountability here. And somebody in the mix of this is unclear about the memo, the message from the universe about what is fair, just, what is required in order to get blessing, wish fulfillment, healing, truth, okay? And I'm going to, sorry, I'm gonna to have to side with, you know, the air signs or, you know, if you, ha if you are Taurus with air sign placements, I'm going to have to side with you on that. Whoever, I'm going to side with whoever's got the air here. These air signs are all showing up like they got it layer clear. Okay. Um, but who, whoever does not have the air, not, not so clear. Okay. And it might be, that might be a tough call because if you've got a lot of air and they got a lot of air, well, holy crap. It might be simply that you're not getting the less, you or they are not seeing clearly what the karmic lesson is here and about having to do with fairness and justice and accountability, okay? Well, let's see. What is the karmic lesson? Both of these are about lessons and I see somebody's not clear on the lesson, all right? What's the truth here? What's the clarity of the lesson? What lesson needs to be seen clearly? These cards really want to talk. A 
and now they don't. Move it on. What is the lesson here? Okay. Another ending about partnership in a family. Okay. And again, it might involve Taurus, any fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, fixed signs. Okay. But again, another Aquarius hit I'm getting on here. And so there's something going on about partnership within a family. Some partnership has ended within a family. Maybe somebody that you had a, a soul contract with, um, no more. There's been um, a major cycle um, integrating some kind of major lesson in life. I feel like there's something I'm maybe overlooking with this. This is a cause and effect situation, okay? Somebody's not, doesn't see a domino effect that's occurred, okay? They do not see the domino effect, how um, I'm hearing reverberation. I'm hearing, I'm seeing the butterfly effect. They think, and I'm hearing inconsequential, I'm in a flow, okay? Somebody thinks that what they do is of no consequence to others or that it's not going to come back. I'm hearing boomerang, boomerang, and I'm seeing it coming back at you, okay? Um, that's, that's a wild message. They think they're just going to send something out into the universe and that there's not going to be any kind of reverberation, that they're not going to feel, I'm now hearing aftershocks, okay? I'm in a flow for somebody. Um, you might be reminiscing about better days with this person, okay? Um, there's that lovers again. So, again, it's a partnership or it could be um, a Gemini is relevant. But this is also about decisions that have been made. And... who you've partnered with and maybe making very quick decisions, Knight of Wands, possibly involving a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and working on some type of give and take, some type of exchange going on, um, working on get, getting or giving money, something about generosity, okay? But again, there's some kind of monetary exchange going on and you might be thinking back to um, when things were progressing, when you were making progress, you were giving to someone or someone was giving to you in a way that was actually progressing the situation, although you might have felt like it wasn't enough, like you were just barely getting by. Maybe you were being breadcrumbed. You were working hard for very little in return. And... I'm seeing something here about some of you are thinking back to a decision from the past that was made pretty rash to work on something that is now maybe just got you scraping by. I'm sorry to say um, feelings, feelings. Some of you are dealing with a creative block right now. Um, maybe you want to create something, but you've been dealing with uh, discouragement, okay? Some of you have gotten a little bit deterred. Maybe, you know, like the, this kid fell off your bike and you got to dust yourself off and start all over again, right? Pick back up where you left. Get up on your bike again. Keep it moving. I'm seeing something about the wheels, the wheels, the wheels, cycles, cycles, karma. There's even a swirling around here with these decisions. And it's like, okay, um, it keeps going. It keeps going is what I'm getting. And some of you know something actually has completed and ended. And it, it might be that 
there is a there is some kind of lesson that has been going on and on and on for quite a while about decisions and give and take and reciprocation and what it is you're creating what it is you're manifesting and nurturing and growing um, but some of you are emotionally blocked right now um, in terms of creating something because have you lost your belief? Your belief in your ability. I, I feel like some of you need to be told this is right. Well, those of us that are older don't need to be told this, but the, for the younger ones, this is life. I'm sorry to say. Um, you fall off your bike, right? It happens and you just got to get back up and start over again. You know, it's not always going to be like this, but there's just going to be days when you fall off your bike and you got to, it's painful and you got to get back up and keep it moving. Some of you are licking your wounds right now, though, is what's happening. Surrender comparisons with other people. Surrender trust to trust. Okay, so... If, you know, and I've personally, as a Taurus rising, been dealing with this lately, um, unhealthy comparisons, absolutely. Um, keep your eyes trained on yourself, focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. And trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions of what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. I'm hearing stay the course, okay? Like... Don't be easily deterred, okay? Don't be easily moved. If you know that spirit is telling you to put your back to something or cut something out or end something, you got to do it. I do feel like, you know, if there were some rash decisions made in the past and now you're like, I don't know, I worked really hard on this for scraps. Um, or, you know, I tried to... I tried to heal something, I tried to balance something out, I tried to nurture something, and I'm just, this is stuck, I'm at a stalemate. Put your back to it. Kick the dust off your feet and keep it moving, honey. And yes, it might look like other people are getting farther, faster, but you don't know what they're going through. You just don't know. We have to surrender these unhealthy comparisons with others particularly when it comes to money. You know, a lot of people are dealing with private battles right now that, no, you know, they're not going to air their dirty laundry. You don't know what their struggles are. And so, right, you can only run your own race, right? Run your own race. Be the best you that only you can be. Don't be a counterfeit. Don't be a counterfeit, right? This is what I'm feeling for you. From the postcards from spirit message dearest you even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead it's a time to rest allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming you might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul emerges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry. We will soon take you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set an alarm clock. Loving you always. I really feel this is about you putting this in the upright. This is about you just, you know, blocking out distractions going on with other people and what they're doing and thinking and saying and blah, 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 you know, right? And just really get an alignment with spirit 
and really hone in on the inspiration, the divine downloads that are actually available to you right now with this energy. Because look at that, with these air signs here, spirit, spirit is right there in the heavenlies. And you see that moon? That's intuition, okay? So I really feel that the cards are communicating that the intuitive downloads are there for you for the taking. But you gotta tune in. And just, I feel like you gotta take a time out right now. Um, maybe you did fall off your, um, your bike, so to speak, okay? And it's painful and it hurts. And yes, sit with that, process that, okay? But if you've got an emotional block, a creative block, use the downtime to get your divine downloads. That's what I feel the message is for you. And uh, hopefully if there have been some cash flow problems with this happening in our second house, those dev divine downloads are gonna help with that. All right, let's move on to Virgo. And um, Virgo, this is occurring in your 10th house of career. Life purpose, destiny, status. So perhaps something is coming to completion or culmination with your professional life or your reputation out in the world. Hopefully you're getting some uh, recognition for your hard work, your efforts. Um, but you could be modest about that, right? I don't think you're quite the show off, right? No, not Virgo, absolutely not the show off. Um, but this might be a time when you need to speak up about something going on um, with your professional public life, okay? Um, because perhaps there is some stress that is occurring with Mars there in that 10th house as well, where you have to deal with um, maybe, you know, maybe related to the holiday season, perhaps. Um, I don't know, I'm getting, for somebody, some of you are having trouble getting time off with your family for the holidays. Um, or you get time off, but there's some kind of resentment about the way um, you're having to use your time off. It's weird. I don't know if this is a marriage and family issue, things going on within the family. I've got King of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If it is not a fire sign male, this is a boss. Okay. Maybe somebody who's um, got, you know, very high ideals, high expectations, okay? Uh, that might be an issue that is coming up. But let's see what the cards have to say. And at the foundation, you have six of wands. I am digging it because, I mean, that's telling me that you are being recognized, okay? You are getting recognition for your hard work. Um, I, I'm really liking that, okay? Um, right now, uh, what's showing up in terms of your beliefs, it, it has to do with give and take in relationships. And this is coming across as though, you know, you're being very giving, you're being very charitable. Uh, the facts are that you're moving on from something, okay? Maybe, maybe you have been giving to it, but it looks like you're, you're actually leaving I don't know it's almost like mm, that's interesting I'm gonna have to drill down deeper in that okay um, it might be that you're helping a friend move on or a friend is helping you to move on from something um, but I I think that you see yourself you or you believe that you are being generous or somebody's being generous but you're getting the, the facts are somebody's moving on from this um, where there is confusion right now has to do with what you are manifesting, okay? And the truth, the clarity of it, well, golly, is that there's some deception going on. There's a lack of clarity, clearly, right? Um, with the moon card there, 
might involve a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio is possibly relevant, mostly Cancer. Um, but I do see that there's been some disappointment, um, insecurity, some worries. Of course, you know, Virgo's going to worry. Um, it, it, it's an ironic card, let me just say, because I, I pulled asking for clarity on this situation and I get a card that is about lack of clarity. <laughs> I get a card that is about things being veiled, hidden. And if anything that you're clear on is that you're concerned about something, you are not feeling secure about it, there might be some anxiety around it, some frustration, emotional frustration around it, um, some disappointment. And again, it might be, if you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, this could be on a very subconscious level. This could be coming out in dream activity. Pay attention to you know your dreams uh, during this time, Virgo because it looks to me like you're confused on what you're, what it is you're trying to manifest, or you might think that you have agreement with somebody, but it, it almost looks like mm, you don't have all the information here, actually. Uh, what are your thoughts? It, it's almost like you feel at a loss for something, okay? And the feelings are You, you want things to change, you know, in a really positive way, which, you know, who can blame you, all right? Um, it's it's a weird message. I'm, I'm really trying to connect to the story here, and uh, what I'm getting is uh, a lot of all over the place, to be frank with you, okay? Um, beliefs about give and take. Tell me more, spirit beliefs about give and take. Uh, this is about making progress and you might have communicated something. You might have put something out on text or email. You might have done some research, some inquiry about how to move this along, how to get progress, get a raise, a promotion, recognition. You might have even idealized this. Um, o over a long period of time, some of you invested a lot into this and you may have idealized the return on investment. I'm seeing that what you gave yourself to, you felt was your rightful path. You felt like this was what you were to be doing and I think you've communicated that. Some of you are researching right now what you need to do to get forward movement. I'm also seeing um, contracts, okay, possibly coming in involving a move, a promotion, a raise. Um, and it looks really pie in the sky. This is for some of you. If you're like, no, that I have not gotten a raise or promotion, I'm not getting an offer to move, you know, a contract to move. I am getting a message here that um, you've been hopeful. You have idealized or hoped for this, things to progress. Some of you putting out resumes, inquiries to get some advancement, okay? Some of you written, you will receive some kind of written or you had, again, you believed that you would get some kind of rec recognition, all right? It's a lot of people. Let me say we've got Sagittarius, um, Cancer. We've got the Air Signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot, a lot of people showing up here, okay? Um, so I do think that for some of you, there's been some give and take with people and you have gotten some forward movement and, and at least in some small measure, it might have just been uh, somebody saying thanks, you know? Um, recognizing you that 
that has actually happened for for many of you okay um, but some of you maybe invested a lot in this for a long time hoping wishing idealizing more of a return on investment okay um, what is this six of swords about with So I'm I am hearing uh, compliments are not compensation. Oh, don't we know it? Don't we know it? Um, that might be why you're moving on because if this has been a bunch of you know check, you know checking into options, putting out inquiries, getting little feedback here and there, and this has been going on for a long amount of time and people are answering you positively or recognizing you in some small measure, but you know, the advancement has been very like slow and meager for some of you, um, moving a bit too slow for your taste. Um, I'm getting that perhaps something with your beliefs about give and take or what you're giving yourself to, uh, you're now leaving this behind. Like, I don't know if I want to give myself to this anymore. Okay. Tell me the facts. Tell me the facts. Okay, I'm going to take these. Um, yeah, it looks like something has been stuck in terms of you getting wish fulfillment with your line of work. Okay. Um, and your ambitions. Um, again, another card having to do with getting recognized in what you've been working so hard on, okay? But it's almost like you're having to get a new perspective right now in terms of what actually is gonna make you happy and working on healing that, healing your perspective on happiness, real happiness, true happiness, real success, you know? Um, so it looks like you're kind of leaving that give and take behind um, and whatever has been stuck or moving slower than molasses uphill in January in Alaska, right? <laughs> you know, and maybe you're deciding that it's time to make some different sacrifices in your life to put your effort elsewhere because it's almost like you're getting a new perspective on happiness and wish fulfillment in your life. I think there's been some confusion over what lack is. What is lack in your life, okay? Um, what is material, real material trouble in your life, okay? And I'm seeing here with the high priestess, again, a lot of waiting, waiting, and maybe you know intuitively it's a divine timing issue. Um, of when to step out boldly and confidently and go after something new, um, turning the new page, you know, with your money, um, going after a new financial opportunity or an offer, a job offer, okay? Um, some of you waiting on, confidently waiting on good money news to come in. Um, and having solid money ideas, money ideas that you can put your confidence in. You've been waiting, 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 but I'm getting some kind of, is it coming from a place of lack or loss? Of I'm just, I don't know why I'm getting almost a waiting on spirit to just kind of drop manna from the heavens. This is kind of what I'm getting. I might have to do with a lovers, Gemini. Uh, might have to do with a business partnership, a marital partnership. It might have to do with, there it is again, it really wants to come out. Um, it might have to do with decisions, options, choices. And again, you holding back and not opening up and giving yourself to something. Uh, and it might be because you're trying to juggle finances, you're trying to juggle options. And I'm getting some kind of decision to just be stuck, okay, in this kind of, uh, I just heard some of you financial disarray. I'm sorry, okay? You're waiting for things to get better. And I think you have, um, 
and your mindset, there's, I don't know, been maybe a poverty mentality or a lack consciousness that has been, you know, eating you up, all right? Um, I feel like whatever it is you've been trying to manifest has come with a lot of burdens and responsibilities and heaviness. Please tell me more about this. Please tell me more about this moon. Help me get clear. What, is the, what does Virgo need to get clear on? Well, yeah, with the Page of Wands, you know, again, we're talking about more communications, more messaging. It might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could also be some exciting new offer where I don't know if you see it coming, okay? Um, or a new creative idea for others of you this is you know putting out again i saw something about a job application or a contract um or simply somebody messaging you a lot of messages coming in like we see you we recognize you um and you know this is something that might start off very small new beginning and you don't think there's much to it but i'm hearing that this could kickstart something a uh, very positive but i don't really know um, that you see it coming, okay? If you are looking for a new opportunity to elevate yourself materially, financially, um, to give, you know, to improve your status, then definitely go after it. But I do feel like um, there might be some conflicting emotions that you have regarding change, faded change. Um, spirit stepping in and saying, you know, it's time to put a new record on, play a new song in your life. No more of this five of pentacles. Let's, you know, get a new theme song for life, right? Not that lack loss type mentality. Um, This is really a turning point for you. However, I, you know, I'm sorry to say it looks like there's a lot of conflicting feelings here about change and, and, and reaching a turning point in your life. And I'm getting uh, with this devil card, It this is toxic, okay? I really feel this is internal turmoil within you. Um, conflicted within yourself it might have to do with a Capricorn and I don't know why but his eyes are just drawing me in like are you getting sucked into this okay are you getting sucked into this and look at this uh, person that is just right more healing needs to be done here big surprise that I'm gonna bring up or spirits gonna bring up a need to heal in a Virgo reading. <laughs> Could we ever have a Virgo reading without a call to healing? I don't know. I don't know. But let's see what you need to release. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense. The wonder and awe in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. I mean, honestly, that would require you getting more into like your opposite sign, the, the sign opposite of you Pisces, right? And y'all are just so grounded, maybe too grounded for that. So it could be a challenge, but surrender to creativity is a lot of signs are getting this. That there's, there's some creative block or not open to the flow of things. Um, but it says, let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. And let me leave you off with a message from postcards from spirit. Postcards from spirit. Please show me messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? And I'm filling this here. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides if not more, to every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, 
you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground and understand or to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment to observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. So I heard as I was reading that something about being rigid, okay? And I don't know if it's you or other people around you. There's something about rigid view and, and that might be what has a stuck that you or somebody around you has to get a, a, open to a new perspective on, you know, what it means to really uh, be happy, okay? Um, and, you know, look at the possibilities, okay, rather than, and, and look at the potential of, of change, right? Um, I do think that you're trying to manifest, but I feel like in your manifesting, there's got to be understanding of other people's views. And I think that, you know, you are being recognized. I don't know if the advice here is that you've got to see another person's view or you got to flex and flow with their perspective or, you know, I'm getting some kind of vibe that people are where they are and you, you know, there's got to be some kind of, maybe I'm hearing something about relinquish, relinquish, um, let people be where they are in their process. I know it's almost a, uh, it sounds like I'm being, you know, saying, oh, just be permissive, permissive, you know, just let anything goes, right? I'm, I don't think I'm really saying that. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm getting a need to cultivate more understanding, uh, a broader perspective and not uh, be fixed or rigid. And again, if that's not for you, it's the other person needs to do that. Okay, so take it how it applies. But let's move on to Capricorn. And Capricorn, this full moon is happening in your sixth house. You know, all the earth signs are getting their, their money houses lit up, right? For Taurus, it was second. For um, Virgo, it was tenth. And Capricorn, now we're, we're going to talk about this house of vocation, right? For you... Um, a lot of money houses for the earth signs and you know generally y'all are about that y'all are about it but um, or you're you're about substantiating things you're about making things safe and secure you know if it's not about money it's about values it's about security and safety and stability but um, in the sixth house this is all about your vocational work your day-to-day um, work habits and routines and if it's not that it could have to do with health it might have to do with pets those might be relevant um, so some of you working on health and wellness with your daily routine and um, getting more motivated in terms of being more organized and balanced with um, setting a, a daily schedule or regimen and for some of you um, there might be some frustration. This might be coming from a place of frustration uh, where you need to kind of open up and talk and vent about things that um, you have been maybe too reserved about, okay? Um, or again, if, you, if you're having trouble letting it out, maybe do something, like I said, okay, I'm going to, um, well, I've been saying this a lot, you know, um, on my channel uh, as of late, you know, this is the time of year when I run out and I get my little, you know, this is beat up, right? But this is planning my life for, you know, weekly, monthly planning calendar. I get one every December. And um, for me, I plan the year ahead as much as spirit will lead me and guide me in doing that with the astrology and the cards, right? 
By the way, I'm offering that reading. I don't know. I'm going to have it at the end um, information down below, um, just in case you didn't already hear in the intro. But I'm offering a year ahead reading if you are interested in that. That might help you set more of a daily routine or schedule or regimen. Um, darn, I mean, I'm even doing that. Uh, I have a body astrology for those of you um, who are interested in trying to get your health back in order, okay? Um, looking at your unique natal chart and the transits that are coming up over the next year. Sorry, I'm not trying to do a sales pitch on you, but it's like I'm in this flow like Capricorn. If you want to get your schedule in order, you want to get a strategy for the year ahead, you want to get um, maybe your health in check in the new year. I have got, you know, a body astrology reading for that. I've got a year ahead reading for that. I've been running sales for that. The, both those reads are on sale right now, by the way, limited time. But, um, yeah, let me just say that, ho ho, we've already got them. Okay. Princess of Cups could be a water sign. And I'm seeing an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and there's Hangman. So there's some stuck energy. Let me say also, um, I gotta say this to the Capricorns. If you are wanting to launch something, what is particularly powerful for you is that new moon in Capricorn coming up on the 23rd. I'm gonna be going live doing astrology again, God willing, on the 23rd. But my gosh, it's going to be your time to shine because the sun will be in Capricorn. A lot of energy is going to be just adding vitality to you, blessing to you. The spotlight is going to be on you, right? And collectively, it's a potent time for setting new intentions um, with your career, with your ambitions. And yes, this is impacting even at this moment with this full moon hitting that sixth house of your vocation. Um, but you are ramping up over the next two weeks into this new beginning um, with this new moon in Capricorn. It's really powerful. So I'm seeing here that there could be some really good money news coming in. Um, and it might be through a very synchronistic event, okay? Some kind of, it, it might happen, I'm hearing something about happenstance. Something just happens to come in for you, okay? Um, I'm getting a lot of messages with both of these cards. And I am seeing that a message is coming in, conveying to you that there is some new financial opportunity. It might be a job offer for some of you. Um, or some good money news of some kind. Some of you, it's a good idea that if you feel that you are stuck right now or you're in a state of reflection about what you are doing with your day-to-day -day life um, or what you are doing with your health, okay, you are going to get some message and I'm getting that this is going to enlighten you, okay? It is absolutely going to enlighten you on how to um, recalibrate, readjust to something that is perhaps ending or coming to completion with the way that you typically go about your daily, your daily life, okay, the mundane. So let's see what the cards have to say for... Capricorn and what I have at the foundation is ace of wands I'm telling you I know we're on the we're on completions we're on endings with a full moon but hot damn you know you are well on your way to this new beginning on the 23rd you're ramping up to it okay this ending is making way for a powerful new beginning and it might be a creative venture, a very creative venture, um, something that you're passionate about, okay? And it could be a, begin a new beginning with your career, all right? Um, some of you, it's gonna involve travel. 
others of you, this might be a sexual union. I just gotta say, I gotta put it out there, okay? I gotta put it out there. But let's see where the cards go. Um, your beliefs. I think that you wanna come together with somebody, okay? Or a group of people. Um, there might also be a spirit of, of reconciling and wanting to um, come together, join forces with people, um, maybe reconcile differences. That's a possibility. Um, some of you um, believe in, 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 in coming together, gathering with others, all right? Um, and, and there is a feeling that through that togetherness and gathering, um, there is abundance, okay? There is growth. Um, so your, the facts are, however, uh, with the earth of power is what this card says, three, uh, four of, four of pentacles. Yeah. There is some reserved, you're reserved, you're holding back. Okay. Or the, <laughs> Well, I think you believe you need to come together with certain people, but I think actually the facts are you need to you need to hold back is what I'm getting off of this, okay? I'm going to clarify why in just a moment. Where's the confusion here? It might have to do with um I heard blockages, all right? It's 9 of 9 of wands. Um I'm also hearing be careful when you're tired. I don't think you think very clearly when you're tired. Get your rest and then you can think a little bit more clearly. Uh, so you get very cranky and defensive when you're tired. I've never gotten that off of any. I never read this card. That's just, I never read this card this way. That is just for you, okay? Um, just for this reading. But I am sensing that uh, some of you you are not clear uh, possibly about also boundaries. There's something about blurred boundaries I'm getting here as well. And some of you, because of this, um, this issue with boundaries, uh, keeping or maintaining or setting boundaries, um, you've dealt with a lot of um, unnecessary trials and tribulations in life. And um, that has maybe put you on guard in situations where um, maybe you shouldn't have been now. I'm getting like shell shock, PTSD type thing, or, um, I'm also getting that for some of you, um, you were not on guard in, in situations where you needed to. Again, did you rush in and, and, and join forces with people where spirit is like, no, the facts here are that you need to hold back on this. Uh, no, you know, you, you're not clear about your boundaries and you don't really need to open up and let these people in, um, or these situations in, or these circumstances in, okay? Oh boy, yeah. Okay, so the clarity of the situation is that uh, there may have been some type of betrayal, and again, there's some ending here that I'm seeing where, um, you, you need to let it go. I, 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 I don't know why I'm hearing that. Let it go. Let it go. I'm not into Disney movies, but I'm hearing it. Um, thoughts on the situation. I think that some of you were trying to, um, stabilize things. This might've been with a home family situation, um, sense of belonging. Okay. Uh, but I'm also with this card at same perfected work. Some of you felt like, oh, well, you know, um, it'll take time. And in time, we'll, we'll get some harmony. We'll get some balance here. Um, we'll find stability here, uh, possibly in, involving a new home or a marriage might be relevant. Um, but the feelings are... Oh, wow. Withdrawn. Very withdrawn feelings. Okay, so I'm almost getting that you... It's an interesting message because it's... It's it's, it's almost like you believe that you need to come together with people. 
but I'm almost getting this kind of surfacey like perception management type of vibe of let's just let's let's uh you know say cheers let's let's uh clink glasses <laughs> wine gla glasses let's um let's feel good but I don't really know if there's a lot of authenticity or transparency here even with yourself there's some kind of pulling back pulling back of your own feelings and let me see why sorry about the shadow I feel like there's some you do have some concerns but I think you're ignoring it and I think that there are is some anxiety that you're ignoring and you're not really addressing and some un, un, unhappiness okay these are all in reverse um, because you want to create something and this is a very creative energy like but I want to come together with these people because or I want to come together in this way because I want to create something but you're not really looking at well um, are these people giving you a sense of peace within yourself? I don't think they are. There's something concerning and um, not really adding joy to your situation. And I feel like um, you're you're not really you're not really addressing it, okay? Because it's almost like somebody's trying to hold the fort down with these fours. Um, and I really feel like the facts are there's been some holding back I, of resources, holding back of emotions because of somebody trying to join forces with people not being clear about their boundaries and unfortunately going through a lot of trials and tribulations of I need to end something okay um, what needs to be ended here or what has ended there might have actually been some kind of betrayal and again I don't know if you just didn't hmm. what is this about with the ten of swords this might have to do with Christmas time and gift giving, okay, the holiday season. Some of you, this is about should I give a gift or should I not give a gift or what should I give? And I'm sorry, but it looks like there's some kind of, there's a lot of reserve and holding back here because of a betrayal. And somebody maybe wants to now get, I mean, getting like a peace offering, but there's some emotional issues that have not been addressed. Somebody wants to come together and create, but they, and they want to stabilize things. They want to bring harmony back to a situation, but there's an issue of boundaries that needs to be addressed okay um, this might have to do with something something that I'm also getting a summertime theme something that happened during the summer or if it's not about the summertime because I'm getting holiday summer um, six month time frame I'm also getting something about a person um, that lives a very far distance I'm also getting that a gift could be given in the summer, okay? If, again, going back to this vocation, um, if some of you are trying to join forces with people who are not being generous to you or you feel you can't be generous to them um, you need to get clear on your boundaries and not continuing on with something I do feel whatever is ended with this full moon in Gemini 
uh, by next summer it is very possible that something will be given to you an offer will be made by next July okay um, but right now it looks like you're trying to just kind of keep things stable hold the fort down but you need to really tune in to your feelings because I feel like they're being repressed okay or there's some withdrawal going on and if you are you know isolating and you have a lot of quiet time a lot of time in solitude um, definitely meditate pray seek spirit about this stuff that has made you uneasy that has stolen your peace that has um, robbed you of some happiness in your life and figure out how to get it back right this is saying surrender to your full power your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small surrender resentments holding on to resentment only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life yeah i think that I'm going to tell you the energy overall looks like I'm seeing endings, I'm seeing stuck, stagnant, okay? But I do feel that by, by next summer, you'll get a move on with this, if not sooner. Frankly, I told you that the movement I can really see happening around the 23rd. Right now is a time when maybe you need to sit with some emotions that are being suppressed, buried, and you need to um, realize what you need to let go of and end and finalize. Please show me, Spirit, what is your message for Capricorn? And I'm feeling this and this. I'm getting two messages for Capricorn. Okay. Dear you, check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. The source of your motivation, desire, is the source of your motivation, desire, or entitlement. Maybe you're, driv maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in the direction your soul calls you toward joy, discovery, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward surrendered to whatever spirit has in store for you you will be amazed at how things turn out check your motives then hand them over to spirit everybody here wants the best for you life loves you more than you know um i gotta say this with the capricorns in my experience I've, I've learned this about Capricorns, you know, please, you know, don't hate me because I'm being honest here. There's always a motive with Capricorn. There's always a hidden agenda. And I don't know that they're entirely aware of it. Sometimes I think it'd be very subconscious, right? Um, but I've gone through some painful lessons with Capricorns and, and I've had to become aware of it when I'm dealing with the Capricorn and they're helping me, <laughs> uh, what is it that they want in return? Because they want something at the return. Okay, look, Capricorn's trying to get up that mountain. What's that mountain that they're trying to get at? Okay, so I just think this is really about understand what's driving you to do what you're doing. Is it just for the heck of it, right? Oh, because I'm a nice person, because I really like you, or, you know, whatever, fill in the blank. Or is there another motive? And if this is not about you, it could be around somebody around you, right? It's a general reading. Take it how it applies. But the next one is, dearest you, 
On Earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use it to define yourself in the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you, a story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure they're stories you're proud of. Genuine, loving, fan club. Okay, what I'm getting from that last message intuitively is that some of you have been stuck in ruts, okay? You're doing what is familiar. And with this full moon in Gemini, I believe this is a call for you to end a way of doing something with your mundane life, with your day-to-day -day habits and routines, and to really shift out of something. A brand new day I'm hearing for a brand new way, okay? I know some of you like to stick with the tried and true. Oh, how do I know? Because both my parents are Capricorns. I, 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 and I draw them in. I, I know I, I've worked for Capricorns. I've had landlord Capricorns, friends who are Capricorns. You love the tried and true. But I'm hearing spirits say, brand new day, brand new way. And so this is what the way you work. This is the way you take care of your daily diet, your health care. And hey, if there is any way that I can help you to create some new inspiration for breathing new life into that, I, I hope you will reach out to me. Like I said, I've got a sale on those private readings and I didn't really put it to the other signs. I only put it to you because my gosh, it's here in the cards, it's here in the astrology. And you know what? You and only you are getting a new moon in your sign with the sun in your sign on the 23rd blessings take it take it take it <laughs> all right that's all i've got for now and um if you want to watch more of my content make sure to click on to the next video um to see the astrology if you missed it definitely for that gemini full moon and if you want to reach out to me for private readings and take advantage of those sales, I know the Capricorns love a good deal. Y'all love to save that money. Love it. Well, the link for that is going to be down below. I'll have it pinned in the comments. Till next time, wishing y'all all the best. Be blessed.